You may not have wanted it, but it's here. Humanity's last ditch effort to repair. All inefficiencies that create enemies of societies. Centralized governing bodies with goals that message the essence of their fashion. The time has come. Humankind should bring kindness to humans. In the age of Web3, we aim to build a world that is free. Connected by the collective vision of humanity. And not under the fallacious auspices of a few. We march onwards. We must not give in to fear. For as the belly of the beast is pierced, it cries out in agony. Piercing this beast will bring agony. And with it, opportunity. And a chance at redemption. And a chance at change. Who will answer the call? Or will it ring? Origin Tree was born under something that was close to home. Three friends, all working from different parts of the globe at the time. Brandman working out of Tennessee, Tomas contributing out of Malta, and finally Ziga contributing out of Latvia. The initial concept was only conceived after the three had a meeting with Ziga's father. He was a farmer. He had a passion for high quality local produce. You should start to see where I'm going with this. Jiga's father had a key role to play in the path laid out for the three boys at the time. Three men, but to a father, his sons will always be his boys, and the friends of his boys, his sons. In an interview, Jiga had this to say. The challenge back then was to help the brand stand out in the marketplace and differentiate their products against cheaper and inferior quality products. We immediately felt that the best way to convince the hearts and minds of a consumer was to provide a tool allowing for radical trust and transparency. Thus, we developed the first rudimentary product for food supply chains that later came to be known as Origin Trail. Supply chains have grown increasingly more complex and they are very much global. Think about your iPhone, for example. It's designed in California, but components are sourced from suppliers in 43 different countries across six continents. These parts go through their own manufacturing processes, which involve a number of different transactions and interactions. It's incredibly hard just to understand the origin of where raw materials are coming from. The Origin Trail team created the first Origin Trail white paper, which led to the birth of the Origin Trail Decentralized Network, or ODN. This is a network of computers that hosts the Origin Trail software. This software allows these computers or nodes to communicate and share cryptographically secure data. The ODN would go on to see five versions released during the time period of 2018 to 2021. Earliest versions of the Origin Trail white paper cited blockchain as a key component of Origin Trail. Hashes of supply chain events were broadcasted onto the blockchain via the Origin Trail decentralized network, allowing the supply chain stakeholders from around the globe to openly verify and share data. 
televiziji, kako deluje ta vaša aplikacija? Tako, ja, kupec vzame izdelek, poskenira najprej črtno kodo, to je pa za delca tukaj ob strani, in potem vidi neke osnovne informacije proizvodo. Potem, ko pa odčita lot številko oziroma datom izteka roka in vnese v aplikacijo, pa dobi podatek, točen podatek o kmetija, ki so priredile mleko za točno ta izdelek, ki ga drži v roka, za točno to serijo izdelka. In ta aplikacija, podatki, ki prihajajo do nas, prihajajo od podjetij iz celotne dobavne verige in ko so enkrat zapisani, zagotavljamo integriteto s pomočjo tehnologije blockchain, ki jo poznamo tudi od bitcoina. Se pravi, niso samo kripto žetončki tukaj, ampak tudi dejansko tehnologija, ki omogoča nek velik, velik napredek na področju integritete dobavnih verik. Kaj bo pomenila ta tehnologija blockchain? Kaj to pomeni? Da ne bomo mogli več falsificirati podatkov, recimo, od kje je v tem jogurtu, da tako rečem, mleko, od kje so te sestavine in ali je to tisto, za kar ste zbrali teh dodatnih 18 milijonov? Ja, tako. Blockchain je dejansko tehnologija, ki prinaša nek nov način tvorjenja zaupanja tam, kjer zaupanja ni oziroma pomanka. Recimo v Angliji so naredili raziskavo in prvižno tretjina oprašanih podjetij ne more garantirati za avtentičnost surovin, ki jih dajo v konče proizvode. In tukaj vidimo en velik, velik razkorak v zaupanju. In tehnologija kot je blockchain prinaša nek nov princip, kako se, kako zaupamo, kako sam eden drugemu zaupamo in kako podjetja drug drugemu zaupajo. Problem tukaj, ki se pa pojavi, je pa sam stroj šek blokčejna in skalabilnost in tudi to, da podjetja ne želijo deliti podatke med sabo, ker se bojijo, da bi s tem nekaj zgubile. In naš protokol, ki ga sedaj razvijamo s pomočjo sredstva, ki smo izbrali, naslavlja ravno ta področja. Se pravi, želimo omogočiti podjetjem, da implementirajo takšen sistem na način, da bo za njih stroškovno učinkovito in na način, da bodo k večjemu pridobile konkurenčno prednost, ne pa jo zgubile, če bodo bolj transparentna. There were still two issues that no other ecosystem had effectively solved. Some ecosystems like FeeChain and Walton Chain forced vendors to lock into siloed blockchain networks to gain some enhanced benefits of blockchain. This siloing of data further exacerbates the growing pain of the global supply chain by leaving these two issues unsolved. Data fragmentation, which is an issue of low interoperability, and the simple fact that there is no decentralized solution for supply chain data. With suppliers being sourced from all over the globe, there needed to be a decentralized way of indexing, making searchable or discoverable, and a way of connecting data from all stakeholders. It's Dr. DKG, and baby, I'm here to let you know all the things that I can be. Sit back, relax, get yourself a nice bubble bath running, and get in the zone, the Trini Zone. DKG isn't my real name. It's actually Decentralized Knowledge Graph. But there it is, the first thing about me. I'm not a blockchain. I'm a knowledge graph that connects to any blockchain. Yes, baby, I'm multi-chain. Don't tell those blockchains I told you, but I only use them to store my hashes. <laughs> right. Baby, my primary function is to act as a brain because big brains run in the family. And because I'm smart, I index and connect data from different data sources in supply chains and uh, make it sexy for you. For example, in supply chain, this is done by formatting data from different data sources into standardized GS1 JSON LD, which is linked data, baby, which is then shared on my graphs. 
each data set that is shared on my graph is then hashed and the hash is stored in a blockchain of choice for data integrity. But because I'm a graph and not a blockchain, baby girl, I give you powers you never know you had. Baby, I supercharge that data by turning that regular tabular data into knowledge, into knowledge graph, graph theta. theta. And baby girl, I'll have you know that with that knowledge graph theta, there's so much you can do. For example, because we've got a knowledge graph here, we can see that Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, did he not? And we can see that you, Lily, yes, you, Lily baby, you're interested in Da Vinci. This is the very same technology that is used by Google to build Google Search. Used by Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, Uber, and almost every Fortune 500 company to maximize, maximize the, power the power of their, of their data. data. The only problem with them, baby, is that, <laughs> well, they don't share. And well, I sure do. And you know what? I can get them to share too. So what do you say, baby? How about we get hitched and pop out some little DKGOT note? <laughs> This was the real innovation. The fact that they had successfully managed to combine the knowledge graph with blockchain technologies. When you set up your origin trail node, you essentially have a computer that is equipped with its own personal knowledge graph. Every node in the entire network has its own knowledge graph and anchors that data in blockchain. The connecting of all these independent knowledge graphs is what creates the decentralized knowledge graph, and the synergistic effect of both technologies paved the way for the adoption of Origin Trail in the global supply chain. Remember this quote? Well, that wasn't all there was to it. It continues to say, later on, it became apparent that the same technology can be used for about anything in the global supply chain and beyond to other data-centric industries. You see, up until now, you've been hearing about Origin Trail's utilization from the perspective of the global food supply chain. You would be surprised to know that most of the issues the cryptocurrency industry aims to resolve today are actually, in fact, supply chain issues. But this would be the tip of the iceberg. At the Origin Trail liftoff event, something the world had never seen before was unveiled. It was the first time we would hear about Origin Trail's knowledge economy, an economy that leverages certain cryptographic technological frameworks that will allow users to extract the maximum amount of value from and express total ownership over their assets. And that's assets of any kind, real world and digital alike, connected via the decentralized knowledge graph. They use the example of Airbnb. 
Airbnb provided liquidity to empty rooms all over the globe. All of a sudden, anyone with extra room and access to the internet can generate wealth. Origin Trail is doing the exact same thing, but this time for all of our assets and data and provides a platform that anyone can build on. This is the exact same technology that has built the world as we know it today. Alexa, Siri, Twitter, Facebook, Knowledge Graph technology dominates our daily lives and to be honest, even I had no idea. While some consider it evil or just good business, this is the technology that currently reaps data on all of humankind. By decentralizing this fundamental technology and redistributing its power to all of the node runners and adopters of the Ordinary ecosystem, the Ordinary ecosystem hopes to bring forth a technology stack that can truly heal humanity from the data level. This led to an entirely new wave of marketing. The Origin Trail team moved away from the old supply chain narrative and adopted marketing that is more fitting for a protocol that would be the backbone of Web3. Origin Trail kept going towards the near side rail on the bob as they go inside the final half. Origin Trail towards the near side is doing enough. Origin Trail is going to land the spoils and wins well. Back in second is Roach Power Prodigious Blue. The Origin Trail roadmap states that the touring phase is currently underway. Its name, of course, pays homage to the world renowned father of computer science, Alan Turing. The touring phase will now enable a shift from data to assets. This phase introduces a Universe Asset Locator, or UAL, which allows for assets to be placed into the Knowledge Graph. Each asset is given a UAL, which has all the corresponding metadata attached to it in the Knowledge Graph. See that the visibility of it is set to public, so anyone can actually access it. So what we're going to be doing here is resolving our particular UAL. Basically, we're going to say, hey, Ordinary Decentralized Network, Show me everything you have on this particular asset by this UAL. And this is where you're going to see the real beauty of this UAL layer. So now we have the asset, right? Identified by the same unique UAL, because this time we've resolved by UAL. So we're looking at the overall asset and not the state. So we have the overall asset here. And what this says is this is the assertions on that asset. So you can see that cryptographically, this is the first state of this asset because look at the timestamp. This was done before this one. So this is the original state of the asset. And this is the second state of the asset, the most updated state of the asset. And you can see that this is an NFT and it was issued by my wallet at this particular time. And this is the JSON LD, the context for it. And what we can see here is that the latest state of it is what's being presented as the NFT metadata, which says Amos is teaching on the decentralized knowledge graph. Because 
This meant Origin Trail could absorb assets from any blockchain network, enterprise, as well as metaverse, and uniquely identify it, giving assets the power of forward composability and more. This innovation introduces a way of placing native Web3 assets into the knowledge graph. Native Web3 assets would be any asset that has been born out of Web3. A good example of this would be CryptoPunks or the ever-growing Bored Apes. Traditionally, the data that makes these assets usable on platforms like OpenSea and LooksRare is stored on decentralized platforms like IPFS. Well, the problem with IPFS is that it has no knowledge graph functionalities. In essence, there's no way to Google it. Which means there isn't really a way to discover assets that isn't posted on the OpenSea platform. And even then, it's pretty difficult to find assets you may be looking for. What if you wanted to find all the assets with a red background as its metadata property, regardless of their collection? Then there are non-native Web3 assets. These would be real-world items like cars, houses, boats, planes, luxury, art, wine, and other valuable real-world assets. By creating digital twins of these real-world assets, it grants them the access to the benefits of Web3. By placing these assets into the knowledge graph, they can now be utilized by DeFi protocols. This opens up the possibility of utilizing your non-native Web3 assets in DeFi lending protocols like Centrifuge. Needless to say, the Origin Trail team has their eyes laser focused on that $256 trillion real-world asset market. <laughs> it can be scanned, thankfully. This is uh, one of the first liquids we've done a Colorado project uh, previously, so we've done some uh, test production in Colorado. In three weeks' time, we start our own distillation process. So, uh, Amazing. That's Woo! it. The story you can show how it works. <laughs>
<laughs> and what I learned today is I learned the difference between a knowledge graph and a distributed knowledge graph. And I guess where we're all going is to distributed. And that involves taking connectivity and applying it to the knowledge graph. Uh, artificial intelligence was invented roughly in 1968, and I happened to be a student at that time. And uh, so I've been watching AI for that long, and it comes and goes. And But it's not going to go this time, and it's because of what's happening here. AI relies on data. And in the past, the reason AI has peaked and fallen is it ran out of data. But now we have the internet. So this time, AI is not going to rise and fall, but thanks to distributed knowledge graphs and other forms of data, it's going to continue its, uh, its rise, I think. And uh, the other thing I need to admit is that I've uh, convinced Amos <laughs> to go on the road with, we're going to tour, and we're going to do a, a crypto hop tour uh, promoting uh, Origin Dress. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. I said cocoa butter notes, look so smooth like a cocoa butter show. Do what I do so my knowledge gonna grow. Wanna free you so I do it for the crow. Energize you like a bottle of green juice. Get out the way, famous famous coming through. These words are spicy, no need for mentors. I'm sentimental, so I can't do rental. Flow on a different level, call it transcendental. They call it tracky relevant, they must be mental. They gotta be joking, maybe it's accidental. Say it again, you gon' have to get some data. Say your development, this is instrumental. The backbone of modern web tree. What you talk about, man, this is origin tree. What you talk about, fan, this is origin. What you talk about, bro, bro, what do you know? You say we got no adoption. Bet you haven't heard about the V6 eruption. With the launch of the Origin Trail parachain and the release of version 6 due in June of 2022, humanity takes another step into the future knowledge economy.